Welcome to the High Voltage Light Electric Vehicle Channel. This video looks at some testing that I've been doing with the 27DMO2 mid-drive using the BAC855 controller. I've tested it so far at up to 2.5 kilowatts, 70 amps with 30% field weakening. Before I get started with the testing video footage, I just wanna make it clear that, that this is a tiny motor, right? This um, has a sweet spot of 500 watts continuous stock, but it will run that at 500 watts continuous. And it's done this in some pretty hot places like Australia, as well as during the summer months here in Canada. You can see what I mean if you look down here at the DMO1 here, which is the bigger brother. And the DMO2 here, it's less than a third the thermal mass of it. So you can't really expect miracles. But what I wanted to find out was how the motor performed with a more sophisticated controller and if the addition of an external controller would improve speed and torque over the stock setup. I have a feeling that there is potential for this motor to be run at higher power than the 500 watts that it's rated for. So the video is gonna be using just throttle only because I actually wired up the pads backwards. Um, but much like the CYC Photon, which is of a similar size, this motor isn't really something that's designed for pedal assist. Like 2.7 don't even supply it with a throttle as the stock option. I mean, you can get one if you want, but the performance with the throttle on this stock, it, it's not great. And you're much better off using it as it's intended, just like the Photon for a pedal assist motor. So let's have a look at the motor does with just the throttle and the ASI controller. Okay, so here we go, um, up some hills. At the minute, it's set to 1500 watts, uh, 70 phase amps max, and it's a 52 volt battery. So it's climbing up the hill. Um, it's nothing spectacular, like it's a tiny motor, but it is pulling away uphill. Like the 25% field weakening, it's giving it a higher top RPM. So it does allow it to accelerate, even though this is like a 10% grade hill. So it, it's not, I, I'm not disappointed with its performance uh, for what it is. Uh, it's about five degrees outside today. Um, I do have some footage with the Photon in similar conditions. So I'll do some videos on, on that one as well. I did a lap with throttle only on, on that bike. So I, I can kind of compare those two a little bit as well. It definitely gained temperature like reasonably quickly. Um, it gained temperature a lot more quickly when I upped it to 2.5 kilowatts. But I mean, this is going up some hills and it's put in quite a lot through a small motor. So of course the temperature is gonna go up on the motor. But yeah, you can you can see here. This is this is a reasonably steep hill for where I am, and it's accelerated pretty smoothly up to about sort of 33, 34 kilometers an hour, um, which is fine for riding in like residential streets. It, it's fine for this for this kind of motor. Like running this motor stock, it, it wouldn't do anything anything like that. The stock throttle response was was really quite sluggish, um, going up any kind of hills. I, I don't think I got it above 25. KPH going up the same hill, uh, running it, running it stock. I mean, what I'm really interested in this is um, using an external controller. Um, can you run powers at a more sustained level, say 750 watts, 800, 900 watts continuous? Um, I found that 500 watts was the uh, the sweet spot for continuous running, and that was over like a, a 35 kilometer route that I took with a lot of climbing still. Yeah, so on, on the flat and going down, you can use the RPM and the field weakening to, to get things going really, really quite quickly. Uh, I'm only using a 52 volt battery here. When we ran it with the with the 72 volt one, and we were getting like well over 24,000 RPMs, which is, it, it might be a little bit excessive. So the second part of this, um, it should jump to in a little bit, is going up to running it at 2.5 kilowatts. Um, 
so right now we're still 33 degrees 34 degrees motor temperatures so it, it's it's doing okay um, you know it, even pushing way more watts and way more amps than it's technically been designed to do um, summer weather it would it would go up by more but it's not disappointing so I think we're about to jump now yeah we're jumping now so this is at 2.5 kilowatts the uh, the phase amps are still the same uh, I did actually bump the field weakening up to 30% because it's getting kind of cold and like I was getting cold so you know I, I just wanted to see what it would do particularly with regards to the temperatures and you'll see that they, they do start to increase more rapidly than before um, but it's a tiny motor it's it's really kind of to be expected that it would do that uh, I am really looking forward as I said earlier to just doing some riding with with the pedal assist and setting it you know at 750 at a thousand watts and seeing how well it works with that and if it can do those kind of temperatures uh, on a sustained basis because I, I think once the controller is out from inside this that there is going to be I, I think the motor is quite strong and I think it's quite well built and I think there is there is potential to extract um, quite a bit more reliable performance from it I mean right now I've probably been riding around for about uh, five five and a half minutes six minutes and yes the temperature is now 47 48 degrees it is it is increasing quite a bit now we put in the high level of, of power through it but I mean, I can put up a screenshot here when I ran the photon over a similar time, and I had that over 100 degrees C and throttling back with two kilowatts of power, like never mind 2.5. So it, it certainly is on the photon level in performance in that regards, if not ahead, um, mainly because of the structural design of this motor. But I've got a video to do in a photon, so I'll, I'll talk about the photon um, and why that is in, in a different video. Um, we're going to come up the hill now, and again, um, I'm going to be accelerating full throttle up the hill shortly, I think. No, I'm not even giving it full throttle. But I mean, it's sitting, it's sitting at the speed quite comfortably, going up a hill. The um, the DMO one, uh, in comparison, that was pushing just over 50 kilometers an hour going up the same hill. But that was with uh, that was with a 72 volt battery, and that it's a much bigger motor. Uh, so yeah, we, we we're reaching 55 degrees now, and. I don't think I'd do much more on this. Yeah, I'm going to be cutting it short fairly soon. Mainly because I, I don't want to destroy the motor. Like, I could quite easily destroy this motor if, if, if I wanted to. Like, I, I could keep pushing it and keep pushing it. And we do have rollback on there. So I, I do want to play about with that as well and see if I can get it, you know, does it hold at a stable temperature at any point? Like, does it get to like 65 and then kind of stay there? Is, is there enough mass to, to let it kind of cool sufficiently at that point and still take this kind of power? Um, I, I don't know. Uh, but I'm going to get the pedal assist working and I want to do some testing with, with the pedal assist as well. Um, so that's about it really for, for testing here. Um, we're above 60 degrees C, so I'm calling it a day at that point. Um, do lots more testing on it. Like I say, it's a tiny motor. But I really do think it, it's built in a way that will, it will let it do more than the rated power if it's done right. Anyway, thanks for watching the channel and uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Cheers.